In this video, I'll be showing you some of the best value midfielders in FIFA 23. All of these players are super cheap, easy to link into your team, and will be meta cards that will see you through the first few months of the game at least. I'll be uploading my attacking meta players very soon, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I upload every single day, helping you guys get better at FIFA. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like. Let's see if we can hit 100. So starting off firstly, we do have Jude Bellingham. He's had a really nice upgrade this year. He's also four star, four star, six foot one, uh, with decent jumping, physicals, just a very well-rounded card all around. English with Bundesliga links as well is very nice. He's easy to get into your team. And he's just going to be a very solid all-round midfielder for the first couple of months of the game. Coming in super cheap like all of these cards are. Thoroughly recommend him. Next we have Zielinski, five star weak foot, four star skill moves, getting those Syria links. He's a very, very well-rounded card. You could play this guy from anywhere, from Cam all the way down to CDM. It's very unique to have a card with this good dribbling that is also competent defensively. So I recommend Zielinski, not the easiest card to link in, but a very solid one at that. We then have Lucas Paqueta. He's sort of at the bottom end of cards in this list that are going to be deemed usable, but he is pretty decent to be fair. Uh, five star skill moves, four star weak foot. I would recommend playing this guy as like an attacking CDM. Um, he's just very, very well-rounded, and with the five-star skills and good weak foot and shooting, if he does find himself in a uh, goal-scoring opportunity, he's likely going to be able to do enough to put it away. We then have Tonali, very, very underrated card this year. Uh, he has the four-star weak foot. He's five foot eleven, uh, which means he's not too short. He's going to be able to put up a good physical battle, good stamina, good on the ball, good passing. And as much as pace isn't too important this year, um, he does have it, which is always nice. We then have Milinkovic Savic. I am currently using his in form. This guy is an absolute beast. He is the cheap hullet this year. Um, like I say, the pace just doesn't matter as much, which means that there's so many more options that you're able to fit into your team. Six foot three, four star skills, five star weak foot. The exact same as Hullet. And as you can see, he has got some crazy stats. Excellent shooting uh, for a midfielder if he gets a chance. Especially with a five-star weak foot, he's going to have enough to put it away. He's actually good on the ball. Even though his agility and balance combo isn't the best, that dribbling and ball control is real nice. He's got top passing, good defending, and elite physical as well. And being six foot three with that jumping... He is not getting beat in the air. A very, very solid card. We then have Renato Sanchez. A lot of people are using this guy. Um, he's only small, but with high, high work rates, four star, four star, and just very solid all round stats. Um, he is a very desirable card, especially with the PSG links. He is quick. He is really strong and physically great for someone that small. Excellent on the ball, and then just solid passing, okay shooting. Um, He's just very, very good value. And he's one of those cars that just seems to be decent every year on FIFA. We then have Inform Fafana. Trust me, this guy is an absolute beast. I've been using him at the top end of the Elite Division rivals. Um, and he is just excellent. Six foot one, high, high. Four star, four star. He's good on the ball. His shooting's good. His pace is decent. Good passing. Just everywhere you look, he's got solid green stats. Physical beast as well. 94 stamina means he is going to run all game. An excellent card. And for like 20k, maybe even 15k, you're really going to struggle to find a better value CDM than this. The only issue with him is he's a little bit hard to link into teams. But I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend him. We then have Modric, who's very, very good this year, I must say. Excellent on the ball, elite passing. He feels a lot quicker than what his stats say as well. Um, it's probably the agility balance combo and the body type. But good interceptions as well, decent stamina. Just a very solid all-round card, four-star, four-star as well. And he's going to be nice and easy to link into your Spanish league teams. We then have Casemiro. And wow, this guy, 
he's up there for the best value CDM in the whole game. On previous Fevers, you would never look twice at this guy uh, because that pace is just enough to put you off. However, this year, it just does not matter. If you don't believe me, give this guy a try. He is insane. You have top-level FIFA pros using this guy at CDM, which in other years is just unheard of. But honestly, he's just really, really good. Really nice passing. It's that elite defending and physical stats that just make Casemiro what he is. Six foot one with that jump in. He's got a big body type. He is just insane. Just give him a try. Uh, Brazilian Premier League and Manchester United links is also really, really nice. We then have Pogba, and he's another one where he does tend to get some good cards on FIFA, but the pace in recent years has sort of fizzled him out a little bit. He is back. Like, for a budget team, really, really good card. Um, six foot three with the five-star skill moves and the four-star weak foot. Great strength, good jumping for someone that big. He's great on the ball. His passing is elite, solid shooting. He's really, really good. Um... Coming in super cheap as well and provides French links, Juventus, Serie A. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommend him as well. Uh, we then have Fabinho, who's probably just like a worse version of Casemiro. Um, maybe like a little bit better on the ball, uh, but a bit worse defensively and physically. But he's definitely one that I recommend. Um, if you can get Casemiro... Definitely go for him instead, but this is a very, very good card. Obviously, easy to link in with the Liverpool, Premier League, Brazil links as well. We then have Zakaria, only 81 rated, but this guy is actually insane. Six foot three, high, high work rates. He's got elite physicals. He's okay on the ball, not the best, but he's rapid, good defending, solid links as well. You know, Chelsea, Premier League. Uh, you're not going to get too many Switzerland links, but he's very, very good. Um, and if you're on a very cheap budget, you're not going to find much better than him for sure. We then have Emre Chan, Awful acceleration, but insane sprint speed. He does have a four-star weak foot, six foot one, big body type as well. Um, he's sort of like another Casemiro sort of player. Bit worse defensively, but way better on the ball than someone like Casemiro. Good passing, uh, very easy to link in as well. Bundesliga, German, Dortmund. He always seems to play well on FIFA. This card can actually play as a centre-back as well. And if you do put him there, very, very solid option for sure. We then have Kessi. Um, Four-star weak foot, high, high work rates, insane stamina, physicals, defending. He's good on the ball, good passing, solid shooting. Just all round, a really, really nice card. And there's some good Barca links this year if, if you're on a cheap team as well. Uh, like Arejo, for example. Uh, Pedri is in there. And <clears throat> overall, just very, very solid. We then have two Shemeni. Only 82 rated. This guy feels insane in game though. Six foot two. It's probably that interception stat. Really, really nice. Uh, good physicals. Good on the ball. Good passing. Easy to link. French, Real Madrid. Um, and here is his friend Pedri. Insane on the ball. It depends what type of CDM slash CM you want. You've got the style that's like Tushimeni, which is more of a destroyer. And then if you want a more technical player, you do have the likes of Pedri. Insane passing, insane on the ball. And okay defending to go with it as well. Um, a super cheap option. You do have Depaul. Um, he does have the four-star skill moves, unfortunately not the weak foot, but he's good on the ball, good defensively, great passing, and some solid links as well. And then finally, we do have Marino. Um, six foot two, good jumping, you know, great defending. His heading accuracy is crazy as well. Uh, so if you find him up there from like a corner or something, he's going to provide some good goal for it. Good passing, good on the ball. Great finishing, actually, for like a guy with that good defending. And just a solid all-round option. But these are some cheap options, guys, that I recommend throwing into your team if you are on a lower budget. They're all really, really good cards this year. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like. I'll catch you on the next one. And peace.